surefire way to end a fight. Once you pop it, that eyeball out, it's all it over. It's Everybody's going to back off. If other folks were feeling froggy and wanted to get involved, they're definitely backing off once they see that eyeball oh, pop yes. out of Brent's head. Oh, yes. Yeah. It, it's done. Or even one good punch. We've had that happen where whole crowds come after us and take out the leader with one punch. Ended the riot right there. Okay. And walk away okay. slowly. Don't run. Don't even walk fast. Just walk away slowly. I've been through that. I told you that story, too. Great advice. And you always keep your arms at your side in case somebody tries to stab you they can't hit a vital organ and we never thought of that never thought, thought of that about. that's what i yep. was always told no we never thought of that just get out of there and protect the heel you know protect his back as best you can and just go and if they come at you there's something about that type of person you know they're not smart enough to hit you they'll threaten you first come at you sticking their jaw right out in your face and you got them boom it's all over and if it's not stay on them never hit them once hit them as many times as you can and kick them when he was down because because the only matter of seconds, that crowd could, you know, there's been cases where guys got their arms broke and Sonny Myers, they just walked around him with a knife, cut his whole stomach out down in Texas. Even Harbaugh Haggerty got his arm broke in a riot up in Vancouver. If you go down, you're dead. Did you witness any fans attacking the boys like that with a knife or a no. bottle or something of that nature in the AWA? No, it wasn't like that. Most of that happened like in Texas. Some town down there, it was real bad. And they sent down the Mad Dog and one of the Christie brothers who was real tough. And they cleaned up the crowd. They just took the crowd and beat the shit out of the first one that said anything. And they cleaned up the town. But they were wow. stabbing them down. And in Texas, they stab you. Up here, we never had nothing like that. Everyone just wanted to hit us. Where well, the women would like to hit you with a shoe, that was their favorite weapon. They were bad, too. Watch them. We never hit a woman or nothing, but, you know, they tried. Did you ever get split open by a high heel shoe? No, I never got hurt. I was very <laughs> lucky. Very lucky in the business. Yeah, there are some scary stories out there of yep, guys. They're all true. Stabbed. Blackjack Mulligan being stabbed. I believe that was up in Massachusetts. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there are some. yeah that's a, a legend. Guy. He, was, he was real tough. He was big, too. But yeah, it sure happened. Well, you know, you got your back to the audience. It's a long walk between that ring and the dressing room. They can just stab you anytime they want. We thought about that all the time because, you know, it happened back then. You took your life in your own hands back then. Yes, you did. Yeah. We didn't have police protection. We didn't have barriers around the ring or anything like they have now. We just had to go through the crowd. When